Minnesota Vikings and the Las Vegas Raiders. 40, 40 and a half is your total. The Vikings are favored by three on the road here in this one. Steven, I'm going to steal everyone's thunder here. I put it in the account. I put the Vikings in at two and a half. I assumed it was going to be Dobbs. I was right. It is Dobbs. I didn't get why they would go away from Dobbs. So that didn't make a ton of sense to me anyway. So Dobbs plays one bad game and now we're benching him. I don't think that's the case. I understand there were turnover worthy plays, but there were also plays that were being made by Dobbs. And so the one kind of outlier four pick game, I didn't think was going to get him uh, benched. And further, he hasn't had a chance to play with the best receiver in the NFL yet, which is making his return in this game against the Raiders. There's no home field advantage at all for the Raiders. So I didn't even factor that in, in the least bit. So I thought under a field goal was not enough. And so even though we're at three right now, it's a cheap three. So you could either buy off the three at a reduced rate or play a cheap three. I would still do it with the Vikings in this. The Vikings defense actually has really outperformed anything and everything we thought of them heading into this season. What do you see here, Vikings Raiders? You are going up against our fearless director, Brett Colson, who bet Raiders plus three this week. And I think the argument here he can push and i can win so fine that's fine that's, that's fine true. That's he fair. can push i'll win it's fine <laughs> there we go yeah. what is justin jefferson worth to the spread for you because that is where this comes down to for me if you look at the market consensus ratings from a couple of weeks ago um when justin jefferson wasn't on the field this is pretty close to a to a pick em, um in it for a game in las vegas and this number, if it's at three, is giving two to three points for Justin Jefferson, if my math is correct. So is is that accurate? Do you think that Justin Jefferson being back and a Josh Dobbs offense should ever be three on the road here against Las Vegas? That's that's the question I have, and I don't know if I have a good answer to it. Yeah, I mean, to me, I mean, in my personal thing, I have Justin Jefferson as the highest rated wide receiver to a point spread outside of Tyreek Hill. So I have him at like 1.7 points to a point spread. Um, that might be a little high because that was probably based on Cousins as well. And he's, he still has to get the ball thrown to him, I guess. But until I see that Dobbs can't get him the ball, I can't really downgrade that. You know, it's, it's far easier to get the ball to a guy who gets open all the time. So uh, there's that for me. Um, so I, I have him pretty high. So I, I have him worth uh, 1.7 points. Yeah, I'll, I'll kick it to you, Adam. I don't have a strong opinion on this game, but that, that was the big question I wanted to ask you guys. You will never, in the remaining history of football handicapping, get a better price on Justin Jefferson's props than you will this week, where people, for some reason, appear to have some level of doubt as to either Minnesota's ability to get him the ball or whether or not he's healthy. Guys, he's healthy. He could have played two weeks ago. They decided to hold him out more as a precaution than they did because he wasn't ready to go because they were going to get the extra time to get him ready. 65 and a half is the yardage prop on Justin Jefferson this week. Guys, the last three games before he was injured, 149, 159, 150. In a game in which he only had six catches in week two, he had 80 plus yards. Guys, this Raiders defense is not good. They do not have a single cornerback who's going to be able to stay anywhere near Justin Jefferson. Over 100 yards is plus 320. I'm not sure there's a prop I like more this week because Josh Dobbs is going to force feed the ball to Justin Jefferson. He is going to be so happy to have the best weapon in this offense back, and the Raiders aren't going to be able to do a whole lot about it. Max Crosby is their biggest edge. We know this. Well, Minnesota has the best neutralizer in the league in that this is the best offensive line in the league, at least in terms of who's on the field right now and healthy and ready to play for them. So I think they're going to be able to protect Josh Jobs. I think they're going to be able to get Justin Jefferson the ball consistently. If you want to play it more conservatively over 65, I think you're looking at one of the single best props of the season. I think if you want to get aggressive and look at over 100 yards, you're getting a plus 320 price on a guy who did it with ease in his last three games i it's also me. i'm in i also think this too like on top of that adam like they just because jefferson is back does not 
automatically mean that Jordan Addison now is going to take this like massive backseat and get no action whatsoever. 33 and a half receiving yards for Jordan Addison. The, the over three and a half receptions for him is you're getting plus 120 on four catches for Jordan Addison. So it's like, it's like you said, it's like there's doubt on Jefferson. And then because Jefferson is back, like we're plummeting Addison now to like wide receiver three numbers in an offense that if anything, getting Jefferson back should, should help him get it, get open easier because like, he's not going to be getting the number one receiver treatment. I think this is a pretty big overreaction. As you mentioned, like, I don't think we see numbers even close to this over the rest of the season. I think either one I'm perfectly fine with. I, it would shock me actually, if both of them don't go over these numbers, Like it would, if, if we are sitting here talking and Addison doesn't have 35 receiving yards in this game and Jefferson doesn't have 68 receiving yards in this game, I would be floored. Like I would absolutely be floored. So that's a, that's a, that's a decent alternate angle to look at this as well. And if you don't want to play the fight, look at, look at it this way. It's like a dual, it's like a dual bet, right? If the Vikings have success and beat this Raiders team by more than a field goal, it's likely because they are, he's connecting with Justin Jefferson and Jordan Addison. If they get down somehow to this Raiders team, then he's just throwing the ball all over the place to Justin Jefferson and Jordan Addison and likely softer coverage because the Raiders are not playing as, as tight on them and all this. So it's almost like a two way bet that you get in this one. So yes, love that. Love you pointing that out. And again, I'm, I'm already on, uh, I'm already on the Minnesota side. 